بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My previous reminder was dedicated to a habit that we can develop a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ for the morning how we wake up in the morning Today's reminder is dedicated to a habit that we can develop a sunnah that the Prophet ﷺ had that can turn into a habit for the rest of our lives in the afternoon time something in the afternoon so our morning our afternoon and then inshallah there will be another reminder for the evening before sleeping. So something that the Prophet ﷺ did on a regular basis in the afternoon. SubhanAllah, if we read the life of the Prophet ﷺ, his whole day is crystal, crystal clear. Like we know from the morning till the evening what he did, what, are, what his habits were. There was nothing coincidental. His, his life was so methodical. He had to give time to everybody and no one ever felt rushed. And, and he also had enough time for his ibadah. So what did he do in the afternoon? What was the afternoon of the Prophet ﷺ like? If we look into the seerah books, we will find that he had a set routine for the morning. Sit in the masjid, listen to the sahaba stories, give him some nasiha, go to the marketplace, visit the sick. And like this, he spent his morning. Now, when afternoon came around, his afternoon was dedicated for his loved ones, his family members. Dedicated, he would walk home, and this was his winding down period. Like all that in the morning, oh Prophet of Allah, I need this and I need that, and I had this problem. And then he would come home in the afternoon time, and he would relieve all those worries, leave it out the door, and he would just relax, kick it back with his wife and his family, have a light-hearted moment. And we find most of those ahadith about, you know, the best among you is the one who's best to his wife and to his family, are all at this time. Those lighthearted moments with Aisha Anha talking about the Prophet and his wives was in the afternoon time. It was the afternoon time where he would wind down with his family and just talk to them and relax. Unfortunately, this habit of ours, we have in the Western world, that's why we have a lunch break. A lunch break is to keep, get our head off of everything. But how do we use our lunch break or how do we use that afternoon period to wind off and just get our mind off all that stress of work and meetings and this and that and do, to get to the next part of our day which we all hate and we can't wait till we get home, right? What Most of us spend our time, you know, maybe on our Facebook or on our phones or just looking at some sports and, you know, doing something different. We, this is the time we get our lunch break and we get our mind off of our work. Let's follow the sunnah of the Prophet that's missing. Right when our lunch break hits, pick up our phone. Call our wife. We can't go home because you know probably not get back in time. Call our wife. Say I miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Call our children. Call her if we're, if we're not married and if we don't have children. Yeah, don't call her. <laughs> call your mother. Call your mother. Call your father. Get your mind off of things. Tell him how your day was going. That's what the prophet was talking about in his house. My day was like this. My day. Just tell him how your day is going, and you will re you will notice in your life that just talking to these people, the elders. You, know, you might be stressed out, your colleague might have told, said something, your boss might have stressed you out. Just speaking to them, you'll blow off a lot of steam. And you're following a sunnah, so you're getting, you're getting reward for it. So this is a habit that we can start developing in the afternoon time. Of course, a habit was also qaylula, taking a nap. But taking a nap, we can't really do that. It's not practical for most of us who are working in the Western world, or even throughout the world. But this habit, let's not forget it. Whenever we talk about the Prophet's afternoon, the first thing that comes to our mind is Qaylullah. That was at the end of everything. He would come home, relax with his family, talk to them, and then take a small nap and then go to the masjid. Right? That's what he would do. You know the hadith of the Prophet Aishallah says, when he would come home, he was, what, he was participate in the housework and spend time with us. And then when the Mu'addim would call Adhan, he would go to the masjid. This is about Dhuhr Salah. This time was dedicated for his family. So let's make this our habit. Pick up our phone. FaceTime, whatever, whichever app we're using, call our wife, call our children, hey, say, I miss you, I'll see you soon. Looking at a beautiful um, baby or child will definitely help us relieve stress and the pressure of work. Calling our old mother and saying, mom, make dua for me, I have a meeting in the afternoon. Letting her know, checking in on her, checking in on her. How are you doing? How's your health? This is a sunnah of the Prophet Every time we do it, even though we're enjoying, we're talking to our spouse, we're talking, our wife is calling the husband, we're talking to our children, we're enjoying it. But this is also an ibadah, we're fulfilling a sunnah. Now that we know this, let's develop this habit in the month of Ramadan. And right now, most of us in quarantine, but inshallah, after the month of Ramadan, when we get back to work, let's develop this habit, put it on our list of something we have to do on a daily basis, and think of this as a sunnah, and we'll get rewarded for it, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.